no, we didn't raise any money at all. We did, uh, we basically bootstrapped it with whatever cash we could dig up. Uh, we went to our potential customers and asked them what their interest in a service that we were to provide was and got them to prepay for the service and that money we used to, to fund cash flow. Uh, and that meant we went to hostels that may have had an interest in selling online and said, look guys, how would you like X thousand euros worth of free bookings? So why don't you give us some of this, some of that cash up front and we'll show you how it's gonna change your life. And uh, I think they liked it. I think we were, we always relied on our integrity throughout that business and that meant that while opportunities arose to fiddle the scores for hostels to change the rankings and change the sort orders and so on, we never took the bait and that uh, stood to us. People understood, I think, that we always stood for integrity above everything else. We worked hard, we leveraged the fact that we, we came across, I think, as genuine rough guys. If we said we'd do something, we tried our damnedest to do it. We cared about uh, the customer getting to a hostel and that they had a stay that was reasonably pleasurable. I think hostels understood that if a customer had a problem, you know, we were providing the tools with which they could solve it and, and we could solve it, so we then both end up with a happy customer. Um, we made it easy uh, for people to book, obviously, and, and, and we made it easy for, for hostels to join in. It was, in the, it was a, pretty much a no-brainer, I think, for them um, because we were selling beds and providing free software and therefore making their businesses more efficient. So it wasn't just, here, we'll take your product and sell it and take a commission. You're saying, we'll take your product, but we'll also put a piece of software on your desktop that will take, you know, $50,000 uh, costs out of your business before we sell a bed. Oh, you know, when you get to the scale that Hostler was at and you get to the scale of visitors, the opportunities are huge. So you're always thinking of new ways to, to improve on the service or to offer something new and unique. Uh, so, and then to score bigger deals, you know, so you can be on bigger websites, uh, partner with people like Lonely Planet or Ryanair, whomever. Uh, no, there were never dull moments. So it was always uh, very exciting. You know, when you've got that volume of traffic, as I say, you've, you've got chances to try out the craziest things and you and you know within a day whether it's going to be successful or not. Uh, not really, a little bit obviously they were a great team, they worked really hard, I liked uh, pretty much everybody I ever worked with and that includes the, the partners that we dealt with. I didn't have that many run-ins with people you miss, you realise you're letting that go but uh, you know at the end of the day we're technology and marketing, I'm a technology marketing guy, dot com, call it what you like. That would be my third company I sold. Um, to go on and do another one is a logical thing to do and Worky represents that for me now, so onwards and upwards.